Welcome back to the latest episode of the Laura and Becky show. We were on the radio. We did a breakfast radio show together. We got sacked. We were very upset. But what did we do? With no money, we flew to Mallorca. We got drunk and we decided to start a podcast together. We are now sponsored by East Midlands Airport, the Casa Hotel Group and Red Brick Estate Agents. Um, I've got no bra on today. Oh, God. It's too hot. No. Can you tell I've got no, no. bra No. I don't know though, because you've got quite. What are you doing? Can you tell now? What? <laughs> yes, I can. Dirty. Stop doing that. Sorry. Ew. I don't want to see you I'm do that. I want you to be able to Is tell that... that I've not got a bra on. <laughs> can you Give tell? them a little flap about. <laughs> Give them a, a, little, a fluff. I can wear. I can wear no bra. Absolutely not. Do you know what I hate when you see a really nice dress and you're like, oh, and it's backless, and you're like, oh, I can't get it. Yeah. Well, you can. You can get a backless dress. I yeah well I guess it, depend, it depends what the occasion is doesn't it oh what um, do you mean no I just mean for your boobs I'm not talking about like where you're oh. going <laughs> <laughs> okay I'm quite enjoying the freedom today I feel really like I feel a bit um like free and hippie-ish what? <laughs> can I say that I <laughs> nearly passed out in Primark yesterday what yeah. were you doing in Primark, love? Well, I have not been in Primark for months, mm. let me tell you. Um, we needed some black socks for Rosie for school. So <laughs> after school, we popped to Primark. Mate, I don't know what happened yesterday afternoon, but about three o'clock, that got hot. Shit got hot. In Primark? No, just everywhere. Oh, every- <laughs> the whole world. Oh my God. I was mm. like, why is it suddenly got really hot? Anyway, uh, went to Primark, aircon broken. Oh, and God. then I had to stand in a queue. Oh, and I God. can't do Yeah. Well, we all know what the, the queues are like in Primark as well. I just looked at Rosie and went, I can't stand here. I've got to <laughs> I go. can't do this, Rosie. Did you I not went get the outside. black socks? Rosie stayed in there. Oh, well oh, done, I can't Rose. do that. No. Absolutely not. That was so hot yesterday. Um, any decent stuff in Primark at no, the moment? I didn't look. No, I don't oh. think there is. I don't know. I didn't look. I feel I like just... you've gone off it yeah. recently. Yeah. You, you used to have a good old rummage in there, nah, but I feel like not, it's not for you these days. No. I went straight for the black socks and straight to the kit i can't i can't yeah. deal with that in that heat hit and so run hot. i mean i'm not moaning but it was hot yeah i, I don't want to be in primark I'm, I'm here for it though mate yeah. i am here for it um last night i had to host an event yes how did it go i mean it was fine but you, i mean you... oh I don't want to go oh god I don't want to go <laughs> well do you know what it was a few things obviously it was really nice and hot i wanted to just sit in my garden and drink rosé that's what i wanted to do last night but i was very aware i had to work and i was like oh god god damn it also and you know this um with this event that i do and i do a few of them through the year it's a college award ceremony and i have to announce lots of people's names on stage right it gives me absolute anxiety because I can't pronounce all the names. What happened with the Makaton signing that you had to do yesterday? Did you do oh, it? Did you do the clapping thing? Yes, but I was so nervous. Like, and I, I really thought you told me the wrong sign to do. Um, so there was a deaf student who won an award last night. And what they said in the script was that they wanted me to do the sign yeah. for it. So, and I, but I, I was so, I worked myself up so much. I was like, oh my God, I'm going to forget. I'm going to forget. And I asked you in the day and I thought you were winding me up. I thought you were going to tell me a naughty sign No, you sign like wave your do. hands like. I did like that. That. That, oh, that. That looks some like tragedy from steps. <laughs> <laughs> the hell? Oh my. Are you I, supposed to do that? Did you do oh, that? I did I did that, I think, on the side. <laughs> like, <"What>? yeah, <laughs> tragedy. <laughs> Literally doing it like I'm Jesus doing tragedy. Everyone, did everyone copy you? They did, yeah. It was it was a very nice moment, actually. Well, you know, I think I got it right. Yeah. But oh, it really stresses me out getting the names. Like it, oh, it proper. And I just kind of mumble, I go, Well done to Richard. <laughs> I just do that in the hope that nobody will like realise. But this one time I was doing it right, this was a couple of years ago. <laughs> And it was actually in Sheffield Cathedral, so it was like big. It was like a graduation ceremony, and obviously, it's quite important. You get these yes, people's it's names, the, an important part of your life, and it will be recorded. So, if you got their name wrong, that will be on record forever. Well, I obviously got this one girl's name oh wrong, and she God. walked past me and she went, "That's not how you say my name." She literally like said it really angrily to me, and I was like, "I'm sorry, I'm sorry," but I'm in front of everyone, so I can't like. Oh, the thing mate. is, if you've got a really complicated surname, you can't expect. Right. Don't come at me, all right? I don't know how to pronounce every surname in the world. Don't come at me. Well, I used to be called Ives, as in St. Ives. And the amount of time people were like, is that Ives? I'd be like, no, you idiot. Hang on, who would think that's Everyone, Ives? Everyone, is that Ives? Ives? I'm like, there's Ives. When you're on the phone and you go, it's oh. Laura Ives, they're like, is that Ives? I'm like, no, it's 
Ivza, as in saint. Ivza, Ivza, Ivza. I so the v. <laughs> happy when I might obviously got married and had summers. Summers like is a nice surname. name, isn't but it? But you still get people going. Is that S O M M E R? I'm like, no, it's just summers. Like summers, like the season, but plural. That's what I say. <laughs> this must have been some of these students last night at me. It's it's Davis, okay? Not yeah. Davis. <laughs> Davis, you imbecile. <laughs> Literally. A hey, though. So you know what I'm like as well. I'm very well. When we used to work in radio, we'd call it show and go. Yes. You go in, you do your job, you, you leave. leave. That is me there. all over, is it? You, yeah. You've seen me in action. Yeah, yeah, do you? yeah, so yeah. Becky's done. She's going. Yeah. So I did that last night because I wanted to get back and have a rose. Got a message on Instagram, mate. Oh, go on. Someone slid into your DMs. Someone slid into the oh my DMs. God. I, I actually That's impressive. I can't believe. I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh, how exciting! <laughs> was it a request? Or do they follow you and you follow them? No, it was a request. That oh, went into excellent! That other, um, exciting stuff. Inbox. I'm not going to name him. Although I think I do remember saying his name on stage. Anyway, evening, Becky. I'm hoping I've got the right person with one of those like <laughs> faces. Yeah. I was at the college awards this evening. I wanted to basically ask you out. But by the time I got to the front, you were nowhere to be seen. Typical she me. Gone. I'd gone off. I don't She's know out of there. Um, so I'm asking you on here. This is the best bit. Oh, God. I'm free Saturday and midweek next week. So if you're interested, that's cool. If not, that's cool too. Who is he? Well, I can't. No, I mean, like, who is in a teacher? Oh, I don't a know. A student? I don't know. <laughs> Does that not cross your mind? No. <laughs> Let me see. I don't think it is he a student. Let me see. I'll tell you. Do you know what? I didn't. Yeah, I didn't even think. Um, his face. I think he is. He might be a student, but like a mature student. No. no? Um. What? Maybe the teacher? caretaker. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Stop. I mean, um, I I I respect his ballsiness. Yeah. I also, respect his balls. I just rather respect his balls. <laughs> also, he's come out with like, I am free here, here, and here. I am free every yeah, night, every <laughs> night of the week and the weekend. Oh, God, so. is he going to listen to this and know it's him? This is awful. Well, good you know, for you. That's the risk, Mr. You, Mattress. That's the risk you run, isn't it, Mister Mattress? You got competition. You got competition. I can't sunshine. wait for his email. He emailed today. yesterday, didn't he? Last he did. night. We'll he, save them for Friday. Email every day now, I think Mr. So. Mattress. Well, he's part of the show. I love. It. I'm he, here for it. Yeah, he can. Well, and you got the will. caretaker or Mr. Mattress. Who are you going to go for? <laughs> it's like blind date. We just need one more person, and then, we, then we've got three. I love it. <laughs> How are your mum's plants? I'm worried oh, about them. Shit. This is bad. This is really bad. I don't listening, think will she? I don't think she listens. Or she might be inclined to. But anyway, so I always look after my mum's dog and my mum's garden when they go on holiday. And it occurred to me, it wasn't yesterday, it was the day before. I was driving and I just suddenly thought, oh God, I've forgotten to water her plants. Mate, in this heat, we've had an absolute heat wave oh, here as well. Like, that is so bad. That is how long? So how long? So it's six forgotten. days. <gasps> oh God. And your mum loves her plants. Oh They're her pride and joy. Oh, I literally was like, oh, she is going to kill me. This is bad. This is ba- a bad thing to forget. But I had a busy week, mate. I had a busy week. We Lots going on. We had a yeah, first birthday on. party, Linda. Come on. So I was terrified when I turned up. I was like, all oh, her pots are going to be just like. <sighs> they look like the plants at my house. Anyway, mate, absolutely fine. Got away with it. Scott free. Bloody yeah, until I she listens really, to this podcast. I give, them, I give them a really good water. And they all, and what they probably did, because they know what I'm like, is water them really well before they left. So they've just yeah. about survived. A- another couple of days, I, I would have been in trouble. That was like, a close sure. call. Like, I was nervous. For you. I was like, oh yeah. my God, Linda's going to hit yeah. the roof. The only thing is when I go and water my mum's um, plants, is that I just want to use the hose. It's so much easier. I don't know. Mm. But they want me to use the water butt. <laughs> so so what, I have to use what, the, what, what is that? A water butt. Is it one of those big things yeah. that you turn that... Oh, right. Why do they want you to use that? Well, because it's environmentally friendly, isn't oh, it? Oh, right, yes. <laughs> of course. What's a water butt? And what is it used for? What's the cycling? What's the, what's yeah. the point? Yeah. What's the green Hang bin on, for? You collect the water that falls from the sky and then water your garden with it? Why what would a genius you, idea. Why would you do that? <laughs> 
I iron into gardening. I you know. know this. I got a clue. Um, no, so they've collected the water from the water butt, and then you have to use the watering can. But mate, the tap on the water butt takes bloody ages. It trickles out. I'm like, come on. That's an effort, that is. Oh, it? it takes ages. But did you use the water butt? I used the water butt, and also there's fish to be fed. Are they all right? Yeah, they're fine. Bloody hell, It's a good job fish and flowers can't talk. I'd be in trouble. (laughs) And the dog's fine. So actually, I've got away with it. So You're lucky. You've got off scot-free. Well, now what's going to happen is my sister's going to listen to she's just going to go and dob me in. 100%. Of course she is. Do it, Jade. Do it. (laughs) (laughs) We need to talk about something that we're releasing this weekend that we're very excited about. (laughs) Okay, so it's called The Summer wellness series now this this is a treat for you basically we've done something for you not for us for you there's five episodes to be released they're all being released on saturday hopefully <laughs> if we get our asses in here <laughs> and this is all about wellness so each episode is a different subject and we have a guest on each episode and boy oh boy did we find some great guests should we give a little a little teaser i think I we still- should just say each guest uh, not each guest each episode okay let's go let's go me you me you okay you (laughs) okay we've got a fitness person on yeah a very very good fitness person uh we have a therapist on with a very interesting story well she's already told her story babe we've had her on before oh i'm getting confused with what we're doing here i'm getting confused that didn't take long no okay um yep therapist um we've got a confidence coach on we've got a nutritionist on and we've got a cold water plunger on (laughs) cold water plunger yeah i think she's like a cold water enthusiast um advisor (laughs) knowledge person she's cold water therapy cold water person in um woman (laughs) expert cold water therapy expert (laughs) it's not wim hof (laughs) somebody else I mean, guys, if that doesn't tickle your taste buds and get you excited. These are going to be, they are, well, they're not going to be, they are, we've recorded them. They are so good. You can only listen to mm. them, though, if you're a little feral. And believe me, you will want to listen to them. So all you need to do is head to the description of this podcast, wherever you listen to it, click on the link, become a little feral. They are going to be all yours this Saturday. Go do it, quick. <laughs> Mate. No, mate. What's going on what? in the world? Uh, oh, no. <laughs> sorry, just itching my you, ear. Or were you just saying a uh, mate? Or did you mean we're doing mate? mate? No, sorry. Ma- well, mate. I mean, this is this could be a mate because this is... I don't know what's going on at the moment. I'm hearing some stories like my worst nightmare. The shark attack. Now we've got this story. So you were traumatised all day yesterday. In fact, as well, I've just got to say this quickly. We were in a meeting yesterday and Laura went to the first time having the meeting with me. Have, have you seen the shark attack? <laughs> have you seen it? I've watched it once and I watched it again. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Telling this person in the meeting. Everyone asked though, they haven't seen it. I'm like, how? Yeah. How? <laughs> how? It's very funny. So obviously Laura was a little bit shooketh yesterday about this. Um... Shooketh about the shooketh. <laughs> the shooketh, shooketh. Earth. I can't speak. I'm very shooketh. There's a shooketh. That's what I'd say if I saw one. I'm very shooketh. Look at that shooketh. <laughs> So I thought I'd shook us of Laura of more of <laughs> yesterday. So I, I love a bit of lad Bible and it's popped up on my um, Insta. I'm just, I'm just going to read what it said. Woman who died from stroke found alive in coffin at her own funeral. The only thing, right. Okay. Woman who died from stroke found alive. So she obviously didn't die from the stroke. They put died in inverted commas. <sighs> being buried alive is one another one of my things in fact i don't know which one i'd prefer shark or buried alive oh god buried alive in that film kill bad. bill where she gets buried yeah. alive she's like oh when she being, gets out being buried alive oh, don't, mate. oh, oh don't. god but listen she wasn't buried she was in her coffin at her so she could probably hear all the what people buzzing around um i haven't do you know what? i haven't actually read the Me neither. i just screenshotted it. it i put it in our podcast content group and laura went stop it are you trying to finish me off <laughs> Honestly, how awful. Imagine it popping out of your coffin at your funeral being yeah. like, what's going on? But can you imagine being no. a family member at that funeral? It's like you're all there, you're like all in your, your black and you're all upset and you just hear a... <laughs> Let me out! I'm alive! I don't know if like, I'd be slightly disappointed. Oh, bloody hell, they're alive. 
be like, oh, for God's sake. Yeah. Got all dressed Got up. Got dressed up. No. Got been through this grieving yeah. process. There they are. I was sat looking up. forward to the buffet. Yeah, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> I'd be interested no wouldn't it if you woke up at your funeral opened your casket you'd be like well, uh, where's where's blah 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 why yes. aren't they here why aren't you more upset yeah. why did you choose this poem yeah. and this hymn why do you look so happy yeah <laughs> why are you stood next to her yeah. what's going on with the will <gasps> who's taken my money oh well, my god do you know what it actually in fact I take it back I think I would like this to happen to me oh, I would like to be that. at my own funeral no, you don't say that you keep saying things that are going to come back to you you said t- t- it the other day yeah but this would be quite good because you'd think you were dead and then you're not dead so it's all good yeah well you wouldn't think you- well I don't know maybe and you might be like oh god I've died and you're like no it's okay I haven't I'm alive. I used to think that when I was little like you know when you died that'd mm. be awful wouldn't it but you don't Awful. Anyway, God, what? Yeah, should we stop talking this about is this? So depressing. Sorry, guys. What the hell? I don't know. Let's let's move on. Okay. <laughs> Mate. Mate. So, um, something we were talking about last week on the pod reminded me of this. Oh, I know. You're talking about you going to Magic Mike. Yes. Your sister getting you tickets for yes. your birthday, but yes. she wanted to go. And um, me and my friend interviewing the Dream Boys, and then the Dream Boy became obsessed with my friend and she had to block him. What a great, what a great yeah. story. It's not on Friday's pod. You have to listen to Friday, download. Whatever. Yeah, listen subscribe. to Fridays because it is. Uh, Join. Yeah. <laughs> just listen. <laughs> so confusing. <laughs> it's a great story. And it just got me thinking about strippers. All right. Over the weekend, I thought a lot about strippers. Okay. Do you know any? Do I know any? I probably do. Well, you know that I used to DJ in a strip club, don't you? Yes. Have yeah. we talked about this? No. This needs oh, to be God. a Friday pod. It does. Okay. I'm going to save that because that there's some right stories there so yes I, I do know some strippers okay um so when um I was I think I was 17 and one of my friends at college was turning 18 obviously 18th is like a big party isn't it? yeah it's a big milestone and we were organizing this party for her this was back in Hereford where I'm from where they all talk like this all right my lover I don't know because can I just interrupt immediately I'm not sure if a stripper is appropriate for an 18 year old seems quite oh should i not tell this story that, then no it's fine because they're 18 but that does seem quite hefty so well, you turn 18 this is me we're talking about okay jesus yeah <laughs> i was just trying to imagine grace having a stripper at her 18th i mean i, I should have got her one no, you shouldn't i should have absolutely her not why didn't i i mean i think like for, for a hindu or a 21st but an 18th mate mm. although i mean this was back in the day this when any hereford went. where nothing really happened this is it yeah in fact let's right. set the scene hereford yeah. nothing goes on okay yeah. also this was years ago and again not a lot went on okay. and this was me right okay <laughs> yeah, so we go. all of those things together yeah. okay so um she had it in this like um this pub i think it was called jd's in hereford if anyone Yoldy. if anyone remembers it from uh, who listens in hereford Anyway, she was like, oh, wouldn't it be great if I could have a stripper? But we, we had no money. We were at college. We were like, Ugh. So me and my other friend, right, we were like, I'm sure if we put our minds to it, we could find her a stripper. So one Saturday, and I don't know if you used to do this, like on a Saturday, you just went to town and walked around town. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh my God, 100%. So we did that. We walked around town looking for a stripper. Yes. Oh, that's what God. we did. That's Stop. Actually, that's actually what we did. So we thought, we'll just keep an eye out for any, like, good-looking men. So, obviously in Hereford, there's a lot of farmers. Oh, God. So, we were like, what about him in the wellies? No. What about him with a piece of straw hanging out of his mouth? No. <laughs> anyway, we were outside Tesco in Hereford. And there was a man. Right. Alone. Why do you keep doing this? Because it's comfy. <laughs> I don't like to sit forward anymore. In the studio, we have I'm our microphones back. on the desk normally. Laura I feel like keeps I'm like reclining. this constantly. I'm yeah. Just, yeah. Go on. Tell me a story. Keep going. You see. So, outside Tesco, we see this nice specimen of a man. And God. somehow we get talking to him. And I, I don't know how it came about. But we said, listen, um, our friend is having an 18th birthday party at the weekend. You have got a great physique <laughs> and a oh great face. Why don't you come along Bring her like a rose or something and strip. strip. Mate, he was up for it. Oh, God almighty. So we swapped details. Right. Anyway, we Did spoke you pay a little him? bit before. No. Is there we, any money changing hands? No money was involved. So he was just, I mean, nothing happens in Herod. Right. So he, he was, was probably like, yeah. gagging for it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, a bit of excitement. So the party was coming over closer. We didn't tell my friend, right? And but me and my other friend were getting really nervous. We're like, oh my god, what if we made made the wrong move? I think her boyfriend was going to be there, the girl whose party was. We're like, oh my god, no! What if what if he, they have fisty cuffs? I'm like, what if all goes horribly wrong? Anyway, we thought let's just let what will be be. <laughs> right. So we turned up, and um, 
obviously we're only 18 at this stage so we'd like smuggled in boobs under our denim jackets at the time and my friend's granddad had driven us into town as well so we were like clinking in the back with all of our bottles going, oh my god what about the strip oh my god anyway turn up at jd's and we text the guy and he says that he's on his way luckily the girl whose birthday it was her boyfriend wasn't there he was coming later and he was an older boy and he was coming later right so there we were in jd's S Club 7 playing, picture the scene. There's all like disco lights everywhere. Bit of a crowd from college. In walks the oh, stripper God. from the street. And sure enough, he was fully clothed. He had a rose in his mouth. Stop it. I'm not even joking. This is slightly odd. He this came is very, in. if you did this nowadays, it would be that you'd get arrested. Oh, he'd get arrested. We'd get arrested. She'd probably get arrested. <laughs> <laughs> this is right. what happens in Hereford, though. Right. You need to come to Hereford. Yeah, okay. I'm going to take you there this summer. <laughs> I'm going to take you to JD's. <laughs> <laughs> Odd. Um, and I can't quite remember what happened then, but I know that he did try and do a bit of a strip. He got her on Hang a on, chair. Was S Club Seven. I, that might have changed by oh. by then. I can't, I can't even remember what music was on. But he came and he sort of like tried doing something, but it was all a bit of a damp squib. But mate, the the point of the story is you've got you can find stripper. strippers on the street. Well, you- <laughs> That's the point. You could. You if, yeah, you know, it's almost like it sounds like um, an episode from The Apprentice, <laughs> doesn't it? Right. What we've got to do today is go and find a stripper from the street. Team Aventus. Yeah, you've got no money. Storm. Yeah, Off you, you go. You've got no money. <laughs> Becky's like, I'll be team leader for this one. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting myself forward. We'd be like, yeah. In fact, everyone would just sit in a room and you'd just run off, find someone. I've got previous guys. Yeah. I've got experience <laughs> yeah. in this. Sign me up for this. <laughs> Hey, we should have done it for our first birthday party. Oh, shush. We should have walked the cobbled streets of Chesterfield looking Could you, Have you for been stripper. in Chesterfield Town Centre recently? Good, you, Actually, I yeah, think good, so. Good point, good point. Right. Well, well done, mate. I've never had Thank a stripper. You. And if anyone got me a stripper, I'd be very angry. Don't look at me like that. Don't ever get me a stripper. You can't go through life without ever having a stripper. You just I can. can't. You watch me. I, don't even look like that. I've got no big birthdays coming up. <laughs> No, I hate it. No, I don't like Willie's. <laughs> Gets on my phone. <laughs> I did a stripper from the street. That's a good um, agency name. Hello, stripper from the street. Oh, yeah. You want someone to book? I'll just pop out. It's on the street, it? though. Yeah. Do you think that's the name of the pod today? Yeah. <laughs> I've written it down. The Have stripper from the street. <laughs> Literally to remind love myself. It. So. I love it. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, everyone walking the streets today looking for strippers. <laughs> love good it. luck. Good luck. God, imagine if someone messages and they're like, I'm literally (laughs) trawling the streets looking for a stripper. I honestly, I hope it happens.